Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent news story, and I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. What's up, everybody? We went to Kentucky, hunted probably the most pressured turkeys I've ever hunted, and Joey smashes a big gobbler, his first big gobbler, in this video. Stick around. <laughs> Okay guys, this video actually starts out rather depressing. The whole morning was basically blown. We watched people drive around, we watched people walk around, and we didn't realize that apparently in Kentucky, all these like gravel paths, people just drive down them and do whatever they want. So we watched trucks drive by, we watched people drive by, just non-stop, totally ruined the morning. So we made a major move for the afternoon, we went back to the truck, ate some sandwiches, went and found a new spot, still had issues with four wheelers. So so far, we have nothing cool to tell you about day one of hunting season. I could play clips for about 30 minutes of all the cars and people and ATVs and side-by-sides that drove by us this morning. But that's what happens with public land. We've never been here before. There was no way to, there was no way to know that many people hunt here. We are hunting all day for the next four days. So it's about three o'clock. We made a move, a big move, about about two miles of a walk move. And we found an awesome field, beautiful. However, there's also boot tracks out here. So somebody was here this morning. We have one that just gobbled out of nowhere about 300 yards away. And we're just gonna hang out and see what happens. Hopefully I have something else to show you for day one. Y'all wanna talk about a redneck old deer feeder? Look at this thing. There ain't been nothing in it in a long time, but I'm guessing you put your corn in here? I don't know. It's pretty obvious it hasn't been used in a while. But so I guess with these properties, I guess if you privately own something, you can open it up for public hunting use in Kentucky. I don't know if you get like a tax break or what, but obviously an old, old deer feeder hasn't been used in a long time. I'm a blind over here, but it's got about 4,000 hornets and ants inside, so I'm guessing nobody's used that in a couple years. Finally get a hen to come in. It gets spooked off too. And we were at our lowest. We thought this whole four days was gonna be blown. We're like day one, and this is not gonna get any better. I'll tell you what, anybody that's watching this from Kentucky, y'all need to quit riding your four-wheeler so much. Somebody just rolled up on us and scared away our hen. Now, some brilliant Kentuckians coming up the other side of us. There's no wonder these, these turkeys are call shy and decoy shy on day one of season. Well, we're gonna sit till dark, but uh, I think this is gonna be, the title of this video is gonna be Worst Day Turkey Hunting Ever. Because apparently down here in Kentucky, it's a national pastime to ride your four-wheeler or your side-by-side -side or go road hunting on opening day.
You got him, dude. You got him, dude. <laughs> You got him, dude. You got him, dude. Your first Kentucky bird. Good shot. <laughs> oh, dude, is your GoPro on? I hope. <laughs> I, he was gonna roost right here. Dude, congrats, man. <laughs> Dude, his beard is not as big as I hope, but <sighs> whew, I was <laughs> nervous. I, I, that was a that was, oh my that was a good goodness. shot. 40, 40 yards. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> wow. Dude, you smoked his head. <laughs> Dude, we're not here. Ooh. Oh, dude. Oh, what are you talking about? It's decent. It's, it's a decent. 10 inch beard. Oh my goodness. It is. Boom! Ah! What time is it? <sighs> what time is it? Oh, dude. It's time to celebrate. All right, guys, I think this was the most frustrating day of turkey hunting I have ever had. And so finally I told Joey, I was like, man, we got tags to fill. I'm gonna call super aggressive. If we get a Jake in, I want you to kill it. And uh, so I called real aggressive. We waited about 10 minutes. I called again and this dude lit off. 50 yards behind us. Long story short, perseverance pays off. I know a lot of people who do not turkey hunt in the evening. I've killed several gobblers in the evening, like an hour before dark, them coming to the roost. This is Joey's first big gobbler. Joey has, how many jakes have you killed in your life? Three? Oh, no, five. Okay, <laughs> Joey's killed five jakes. So this is his first gobbler, first Kentucky bird. And it, it's not that long of a beard, maybe, maybe 10 or 12 inches, but I mean, it's gray. This is a good old bird. It came in directly behind us. There was nothing we could do, but that's turkey hunting. Thanks so much for being subscribed. This is what it's all about. These moments. Today has been one of the worst days. We were so bummed, but we stuck it out. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching the video. If you're a turkey hunter, good luck, and we'll be back here tomorrow.